starters for the fourth race. The track condition still listed good. Number one is Fox Valley Rainbow, owned by Janet Emerson of Golconda, trained by Harley Emerson. Connell Willis is up. Number two is Jolene Amber, owned, trained, and driven by Les Miller of Crete. Number three, Saccharin, owned by Daryl Brown of Oakland, trained by Earl Avenetti, the driver, Nelson Willis. Number four, Ima Nowak, owned by Scotty Standard Breads and April Kukuk, trained by Dwight Banks, he will drive. Number five, Bridle the Wind, owned by Paul and Sue Phillips of Charleston, trained by Paul Phillips, Craig Banks in the bike. Number six, Sweet Dreamer, owned by Jack and Peggy Hood, by Mystical Marker Farms, and by the Steinbrenner Racing Stable of Valparaiso, Indiana, Homewood, Illinois, and Tampa, Florida, Dirk Simpson trains, Dave McGee drives. Number seven, Star Slinger, owned by Stan Miller and David Jenks of Indiana, trained by Miller, Sam Widger in the bike. And number eight, Giraffe Girl, owned by Willie Jones of Jackson, Mississippi, trained by Roshan Trigg, Ray Gash will drive. Phillies will be at the gate in less than five minutes. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. Jolene Amber off stride behind the gate. So one of the favorites will have plenty of ground to make up. Here they come. The rest are off and trotting except for Saccharin who made a break at the start. There goes Ima Nowak trotting out for the lead. Bridle the wind comes away in second. Fox Valley Rainbow third. Giraffe Girl guns out from fourth on the far outside. Saccharin still on a break. Jolene Amber will be far back in the early going. Up closer to the lead, Sweet Dreamer moves up a notch five lengths from the front. And Star Slinger gets away comfortably, but at the back of the field, some nine lengths off the leader. And it is Giraffe Girl who goes out and trots with the lead by a length and a half. I'm a no walk, a second by over two, 31 seconds for the opening quarter. Fox Valley Rainbow third by three. Bridle the Wind is fourth, and then Sweet Dreamer is fifth. Star Slinger is sixth, 10 lengths off the leader here in the early going. And Saccharin is still far, far back, along with Jolene Amber, who is absolutely last after that early miscue. Giraffe Girl has the lead at the half-mile mark by a length and a half for Ray Gash in the brown and white colors. I'm a no-walk is second, 102 and 4 at the half. Then Fox Valley Rainbow is third. Here comes Star Slinger. She is beginning her move now. She's fourth on the outside, and Star Slinger is now four lengths off the leader and moving up at the entry to the far turn. It is Giraffe Girl who leads it by a length. I'm a no-walk. Takes to the outside now from second, and here comes Ima Nowak, Star Slinger third, two lengths away. Fox Valley Rainbow is fourth, and Bridle the Wind and Sweet Dreamer. The rest are far back. Past the three-quarter, Ima Nowak leads it by a length. Giraffe Girl second by a length. And then Star Slinger, who's third in 135 and one. And Star Slinger is still a good five lengths off the lead. Moving by the eighth pole now, Ima Nowak with Banks keeping her alive. They lead it by three. Star Slinger is steadily moving up into second on the outside, but she's running out of ground. And Bridle the Wind goes to third. Star Slinger has collared Ima Nowak, who's dead game on the inside. Star Slinger gets up by a head. It was Ima Nowak second. Bridle the Wind appeared to be third by a head, but may have been off stride at the wire. Giraffe Girl looked to be fourth and 205 and three for five, Bridle the Wind. While we're waiting, let's go down trackside and check in with Ed Teefy. Ed? Thank you, Kurt. We're going to talk to the breeder of this fine filly, Star Slinger, the winner of the uh, last race here, the fourth race on the card, Dr. Richard Flacco from Galesburg. Dr. Flacco is a prominent physician in Knox County. He's got a daughter that's a physician there, and he's been breeding standard breads now for the past six or seven years. He stands to stay in Giant Triumph, this filly from the first crop of Giant Triumph. Got to be a thrill, Doctor. It's a big thrill, yes. Uh, we're very excited. My son runs the farm, and uh, we're really excited about this horse. So we're, we're, we hope that Giant Triumph 
brings great breeding to Illinois. We are very excited since all of his uh, all of his brothers are standing stallion in the United States. Well, thank you, Dr. Richard Flanco, who bred the filly, the one of fourth race, Star Slinger. Good luck in the final, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ed Teefy, and to Dr. Flanco. Now, here's an update on what happened with that fourth race. First of all, in the photo for show, number five, Bridal the Wind, finished third, and number eight, Giraffe Girl, came across the line in fourth. However, number five, Bridal the Wind, has been disqualified from third and placed fourth.